Hello, welcome to Tala Talks NICU, where we break down medical concepts and make them easy for you to understand. Today, we're going to be talking about breastfeeding, or more specifically, which medications are okay for the mother to take while she is breastfeeding. One of the most frequently asked questions we get from mothers of babies in the NICU or even in the newborn nursery is whether it's safe for them to continue to take a medication or even start a medication while they're breastfeeding or whether they need to pump and dump, um, pump the breast milk and then dump it until that medication is out of their system. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of medications really are safe to take while the mother is breastfeeding, and there is a lot of clinical research and resources to back this up, and I'll go over those in a second. A lot of these resources stratify each medication based on potential risk to the baby. So some of them could be extremely safe or known to be safe, some may have mild adverse effects, some may have less information known about them. So a lot of times there are clinical decisions to be made by the pediatrician or the neonatologist or the provider that the mother is asking. Before making a decision, the clinician needs to consider three different things. The first is the benefit that the medication will give to the mother. Is it 100% required that the mother takes this medication, for example? The second is the risk of the medication to the baby. And the third is the risk of the medication to the maternal milk supply. So the clinician needs to think about these three questions and then consult a trustworthy resource that I'm gonna go over in a second and kind of come up with a decision with the mother about whether breastfeeding should be continued or not. So these references consider just about everything that's known about this drug, as well as any study that has been done on this drug in breastfeeding mothers. So the sort of things that are considered on the drug itself are things like the bioavailability of the drug, so how much of that drug is absorbed from the gut, both in the mummy as well as the, in the infant, as well as various infant characteristics, as well as the protein solubility, the lipid solubility, the molecular weight of the drug. So really as much information as possible is gathered before these recommendations are made. The first resource that you can use is called LACT-MED, or which is the National Library of Medicine's Drug and Lactation Database. And it is a searchable database of drugs and other chemicals to which breastfeeding mothers may be exposed. The great thing about this is that it is available online and it is updated monthly. The second is Dr. Thomas Hale's Medication and Mother's Milk. This is a reference book that is published once every couple of years. In this book, medications are categorized from L1, which are medications known to be safe because many breastfeeding women have taken it without adverse effects or studies have fail to show a risk. And then as the numbers go down, so L2, L3, L4, L5, there is less good positive evidence of mothers having breastfed on these drugs and more adverse effects reported. So that by L5, studies have shown significant risk to nursing infants and the drugs should not be used at all during breastfeeding. The third resource is mothertobaby.org fact sheets, which are quick and easy fat sheets on over 250 exposures. The great thing about this list is that it includes not just medications, but also cosmetics and infections, and even how natural disasters may affect breastfeeding. And then the AAP, the American Academy of Pediatrics, also publishes a clinical report on the transfer of drugs and therapeutics into human milk, which is basically an update on several topics every few years. All of these references are below. Apart from Dr. Hale's book, a lot of the information can be retrieved just by clicking on the links. In the past, clinicians have been very nervous about really most medications that mothers are breastfeeding on. But now it's become more apparent with more research that really a lot of these medications are safe, especially since really a very minimal amount of most of these medications are actually secreted into breast milk. And a lot of these medications are meds that we could consider giving to babies anyway. There are a handful of medications that really shouldn't be given to babies. And if they are, then those babies should be monitored extremely carefully. These are the medications that are categorized as L5 under Dr. Hale's classification system. 
So the first drug is amiodarone, which is a drug given to fight extremely aggressive arrhythmias that basically aren't really responsive to other drugs. This contains iodine in it, and when it gets to the baby, and it can get to the baby in pretty high amounts, it can really affect the baby's thyroid function, so L5 drug. The second is really most types of chemotherapy or drugs that are fighting cancer in the mother. There is a lot of concern that a lot of these drugs can go into the baby and cause bone marrow suppression for the baby. The third is gold salts, which can be used to treat arthritis in mothers. If infants absorb enough of these gold salts from their gut, then they can end up with severe renal as well as hematological or blood abnormalities. The fourth is iodine, which can be given to mothers that are having thyroid issues. Again, this can cross in breast milk and go to the babies and really affect the thyroid function in the babies, most often resulting in hypothyroidism. The fifth is lithium, which for mothers works as a mood stabilizer, for example, in bipolar disease. If babies absorb enough lithium into their bodies, then they can end up with a lithium toxicity. And this can present like a floppy baby syndrome. So they are just limp and kind of lethargic. They can be cyanotic and they can have like a really weak suck. And the sixth L5 drug is oral retinoids, which are given for psoriasis and other skin conditions in mothers. We know that during pregnancy, if mothers take oral retinoids, then they can be embryopathic, which means that they can really affect the development of different organs in the body. But even if the mothers take them while they're breastfeeding, then there is concern that it could also affect the baby's development. Well, that's it, just kind of the basics on breastfeeding and, and medications that can or can't be given. Really the most important thing is that you are aware of where the resources are. Hopefully a lot of your hospitals do have lactation specialists, which in themselves are amazing resources, but get used to looking up all this information yourself because ultimately that's kind of what we all end up doing. I hope that you did learn something today. Please remember to like and to subscribe and to let us know what you'd like us to talk about next. And remember to go and answer the multiple choice questions under the community tab. Thank you so much for being here.